Hello everyone, hope you are doing good. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to add pop-up to your Wix website. The first thing you want to do, once on the Wix admin page, I want you to go over to the top right hand corner and you are going to tap on design site. After tapping on design site, you'll be redirected to a new page. And once on this page, all you'll need to do is go over to the top left hand corner and you are going to tap right where you see the plus that says add elements. After doing that, you are going to scroll down and right where you see interactive, you are going to hover over that. And then right where you see light boxes, that is Wix version of pop-up. So if you would like to add a subscribe pop-up, you can simply hover over subscribe. Then you can pull down and you can see the different pop-up templates you can use as you can see right here. Also, if you would like to add a contact pop-up, you can scroll down and you'll see the different type of contact pop-ups as you can see right here. So let's say, for example, I want to add this pop-up. All I would have to do is tap on it. Then after tapping on the pop-up, you can see that it has been added right here. Now to make any changes, let's say, for example, you want to change the image or so on. All you'll have to do is tap on the image, then you will see the option change image and you could tap on that. And if you would like to add another image after tapping on change image, you could simply upload an image. So let's say you want to upload an image, you are going to go over to the top left hand corner and tap on upload. And from there, you'll be able to add an image from your computer or PC. Or if you would like to add one of the Wix images, you can do that. All you would have to do is tap on explore at the bottom right here, bottom left hand corner. And then from there, you can add any one of these images. So let's say I want to add this one. All I'll need to do is tap on it. Then select choose image from the bottom right hand corner. Then you can see that the background image has changed. And also to edit the text, all you'll need to do is tap on the text that you would like to edit. Then you could select edit text. Or if you would like to change this section, you can also do that. Now, when it comes on to enter your email section right here, you can tap on that. And if you would like to add more fields, for example, their name, ask for their name or so on. All you'll need to do is tap on add new field. Then if you like to add first, last name, any one of these options, if you like to ask for a phone number or so on, you can do that by simply tapping on it. Another thing that you can also do is tap right where you see form settings. After tapping on form settings, you are going to see this pop up. And from here, if you would like to create an automation, you can do that. So let's say, for example, we tap on automations and after someone submits their email address, you can create a thank you email. So you could simply tap on create right here. And from there, you could create a thank you email. So once someone submits their email address, they receive a thank you email. Or if you would like to add another task, you could simply tap on create a new task right here. Or if you would like to send a chat message, you could do that right there. Also, if you would like to set up email marketing, you can do that. So let's say you want to email them a newsletter or a special offer. All you'll have to do is tap on email marketing. Then from there, you can select the template and you'll be able to create a new newsletter or so on to email them. And if we were to tap on contacts right here, Again, these persons that enter their email address will be saved to your contact list. And you can tap on conditions and you can add new rules if you want or things that will happen once someone enters their email address. And if you would like to change the submit message, instead of saying thanks for submitting, you can edit it right here. Or if you would like them to automatically go to a certain URL, you can tap on link to external URL and you could add the link right there. Or if you are selling a downloadable item or you want to offer them some type of free download, you would have to go on the paid version of Wix. 
and then you'll tap on show link to show link to download right here but after you have set up everything and it is to your liking all you'll need to do now is simply tap on publish in the top right hand corner but before doing that we can tap on preview to see how it looks so let me select preview right here after selecting preview you can see it right there so you can see that it automatically pops up as you can see right here and that's it again any editing that you like to do you can do that and thank you for watching this tutorial if it was helpful to you be sure to hit the like button and subscribe